everyone, this is Lisa with Shabby Time Boutique and today I want to share with you my very first ever junk journal and it has a sewing theme so here we go um, let me pull this out a little bit Oop, that's going in I'm doing this with the camera right in front of me so it might be a little clumsy but anyway this is the cover and what I did is I just used a heavy card stock um, and I covered it with this paper on the front and then I cut out this sewing ephemera I found and this is a little piece from Tim Holtz put this gorgeous lace on the spine actually it wraps all the way around to the back too and uh, covered it with this beautiful beautiful trim I don't know if you can see it shiny satin and then it has embroidered lighter pink uh, flowers and then I put some little bows with bling on the corners see that and so that's the front and the back, oh, and I used, what did I use? I used a tacky glue to put this on. I used Mod Podge to put this on. And I used hot glue to put this on. I've, like I said, I've never made one. Don't know what kinds of glues to use, so I'm still experimenting and trying to figure it out. Um, on the back, I put this amazing piece of old... Um, like ads and stuff and I totally Mod Podged it so it became very stiff and shiny and I like what happened here so I might do that again if I don't use a stiff cover so yeah so that's that and then here's that trim again trim around there I didn't put anything on the corners here because it's the back and easier to get done I use the same trim to do the tie so let's have a go. So when you open it, uh, the first time I tried doing the trim, it totally did not stick, came off. So I said, fine, I'll fix you. And I put this vintage um, lace doily that I got from Turkey over both of them, the front and the back. And it seems to be holding just fine. And then I put some of this off-white here. I tea dyed this paper for the front cover and then the first page I used this lettering that was um, a happy gift to me from a friend of mine at Girls Giggles Glitter and Glue Donette. She gave me those. They're very pretty. They're gold sparklies. I don't know if you can tell in this lighting. Okay, so there's one signature in this book because uh, I didn't want to do more than one if I didn't like the process. Uh, turns out I really like the process, so I'll be making more of these in the future. I tea dyed and hand stamped every page that's in here. Some of the pages are embossed, some are not, and I hand embossed those. So here we go. My sewing journal has a little pin on a piece of lace and stuff and then a button. The buttons that are in here are, some of them are from my mom, so I think that's still considered vintage because it's not the 1920s yet. <laughs> um, next page is again the hand stamp background with some lace and some more lace trim here this is a little button ephemera that I put some pearl buttons on and the same bow is on the front and then it's a little fold out it's a little just fold open card to journal in here's some simplicity tissue paper I just thought was fun this page is just a piece of lace, 
covering and then here's a whole page uh, to journal on. Now I personally like the crinkle effect. I'm going to try different things in upcoming journals to see what I truly like. And then obviously if anyone wants to buy one of these you can dictate whether they're crinkly or not because I'd be happy to custom order once I get more comfortable. And you'll see as my process improves you'll see the difference. Okay so there's that page and then this page is a pocket using the same uh, lace trim that I have on the front and this by the way I hand dyed so it has some flat back pearls and a homemade bow with some bling and then it's got a tag and a journaling card and another little tiny journaling card with the rose that I thought was pretty. And then this page uh, has a small one. It's a small page with, uh, what do they call this, a belly band. Always desire to learn something useful. Yep, I like that quote. And it's got a tag in it. And my tags, uh, for the most part, are handmade, hand cut. This is just a fun page. I had some fun with some matching inks, but you can still journal on it. Here is, um, it says sew, so, has the hand stamping, this beautiful lace trim, an old button. And then this is a fold-out card to journal on. The next page says needle and... <laughs> there's the thread. So needle and thread. Uh, it's a pocket page using a glassine bag that I made. Um, it's actually a double pocket, so the back has room as well as the front. And then here's a little tiny envelope with a little tiny journaling card in it. <laughs> and then here's the other side of that tissue paper. This page has the thread and bling. This is a tuck spot with, uh, this is off of a, the same pattern as this came out of. It's an old vintage pattern and it has a couple journaling card, a tag and a journaling card in it with some more bling and of course it's all I tried to match the pinks and the aquas I really like those colors together okay this is the center of the signature I put some little pink buttons on the thread I used the waxed um, linen thread to sew it. And here's a pocket made out of some lace. Uh, it's got a little safety pin on an applique. And then I made a little booklet. Thanks Edwina for the idea. Hi Edwina. So I put just a note and I stamp that on both sides and then it's just got paper in it and uh, I tied it with a little bow so that's that oh and I guess I should tell you that this is a glassine this is a glassine bag with lace over it so there's some sense of stability <laughs> on that. And then here's a tuck spot and it's got its paper with a bow applique and then this pretty bling. Let's see if it'll focus. Focus. There it comes. There, isn't that pretty? On this side is the same thing, a tuck spot with a tag. 
and a bow and then a different type of bling. Some more tissue paper from that uh, pattern. Lots of writing space and then here is uh, an envelope on this side. I'll take that off. So this is just an envelope that I printed onto this paper. It's really pretty. I love how it came out. And I left it empty so you could put your own stuff in it. And then on this page is another quote. Um, Beauty awakens the soul to act. And I put, I like that. It reminds me of what I need to look at when I run into a crafter's block as they call it. So yeah, so here's that whole page. And I'll put this back on. And this was so fun, you guys. I mean, it took a lot of work because you have to figure out your pages and your thickness and what, you know, what the overall is that you want it to look like. Um, but it's very therapeutic and what I like the most about it is you can do it in stages. You can work on a page one night and especially if you have kids, like I don't have little kids anymore but I do because I have a, an almost three year old grandson, Winter. Um, and he's at my house several days a week, him and his mama and uh, he and his nanny, me, are very close. And so I get interrupted um, by, hey mom, we're going to come over, or Winter really wants to see you. So uh, they live close by, so it doesn't take very long. So what I, my point is, is you can just work on it a little bit, do some stamping, do some tea dyeing, do a page with some ephemera or a pocket, and then put it down. And then you can pick it back up again later, and, and you don't really have to worry about where you left off or anything like that. Um... So yeah, I really like the process so far. Here's a little piece. It's just some of that beautiful paper again. And I, I kind of went nuts with this one. I wanted it to match the little notebook I made. So I have this same stamping here. And I tried something with some dark stamping. You can see there and right there. And I, I didn't like the way it came out. And I thought, oh gee, I have to cover that up. So I had this pretty appliques and I put those on and I still didn't like it so I decided to put this. It says, courage is being yourself every day in a world that expects you to be someone else. And I stamped it on as best I could and then I was afraid it would tear so I mod podged over it. And it came out really stiff, just like Mod Podge does. And so that was a learning process, and yet it still came out okay. Here's a place you can journal if you want. Here's another little, uh, what do they call this? A tag, a tuck spot with some vintage pink buttons on there and a little tag. And here's a long waist belly band with another tag and some beautiful lace trim I used on there. Here's another tissue page. And then this is the last page, another little tuck spot with some scissors and my stamping and some embossing. And then the final has, this is from that simplicity pattern. I thought, i got to use that since I had the rest of it in here. And it's uh, not really an envelope. It's a fold down. So, and you can open this part if you want to write on it. And then the final, here's that same as the front, the same style as the front. And then I signed it. So that's my junk journal, my very first one. I loved how it came out. 
Um, my whole entire family said, you can't sell that and you can't give it away. It's your first one. So there it is. I hope you like it. Um, there will be more coming. All right. Thanks, everybody. Go make it a good one and craft something.